Hi, this is Mrs. Perry Ising with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to talk about how to add B-roll. B for background. B-roll is footage that is shown while your interviewees are speaking about a topic. So in this interview, these two teachers are talking about a bone marrow drive that we held at our middle school some time ago. So I have some footage that I loaded into the viewer. Again, to get footage in your viewer, you find the clip in your browser, you double click on it, and you bring it over into your viewer. So while the two teachers here in our clip are talking about the uh, bone marrow drive, we're going to show an example of somebody getting swabbed to give a sample for the bone marrow drive. So what I need to do is place my cursor in the timeline, or my playhead in the timeline, at the point at which I'd like to start adding the B-roll. So let's see what she has to say. The donation today is... She's talking about the donation, meaning, you know, the, the sample for the uh, bone marrow. So I will put my B-roll starting at that point. So now what I need to do is the B-roll, this clip that I want to add, is going to have uh, video and audio. So I want to take my source indicator for the video and move it up to track two because the B-roll is going to go on top of the interview. So that's going to be on track two. And the audio from the B-roll is going to go underneath. So I need to move my source indicators down to tracks three and four for the audio so that the audio doesn't uh, overwrite the audio from the this is clip. So now I'm going to go up here to the viewer and watch my B-roll and have a look and make an in point and an out point. I like that she's swabbing. So I for in point. O for out point. That might be a little bit long, but let's see. So now with my playhead in position, with my source indicators on track two, for video tracks three and four for audio, I'll take my um, clip and I could either drag it down and drop it on the timeline here, or some people like to drag it over to the right and say overwrite. I'll do that. I'll drop it on overwrite. And so now here's my clip. Now in previous tutorials you learned to work with sound. Now I don't want the sound from the b-roll that I just put in to um, cover up the sound of the voice of my subjects talking. So first let's play it and listen and watch. Call. We hope the donation today is a great success. I was honored. You hear a lot of background noise coming from this video clip. So here's the audio for this video clip. I'm going to lower that down substantially. I won't make it zero because you want some natural sound from your b-roll, but I'm going to lower that down a lot. And let's go back and watch. Well, we hope the donation today is a great success. I was honored enough to have him as a student a few years ago. I am a donor so today, and I hope good. it to be a successful Now, donor. another thing people like to do is uh, we, they, you can either do a hard cut where there's no transition on the end of this B-roll. So let's watch. This is the beginning. Well, Paul, we hope the looks. donation today is a great success. That just flashes right to the next, uh, right to the B-roll. You could, if you wanted to, right-click and say add a cross-dissolve transition on each end of the B-roll to make it a little bit softer. So it depends on what kind of style you're going for. There's no right or wrong answer. It's the look that you're going for. Let's see how that looks. Donation today is a great success. I was so that's a nice little transition. Years ago. So here we go, transition today, to that. So that's how you add B-roll. So the key to B-roll is moving your source indicators so that it can go onto a track that's going to accept the clip. And secondly, you have to lower the volume of the B-roll so it doesn't overtake the volume of the people speaking in your interview. So that's it on B-roll again, B for background. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.